Hi Year 12, I'm using this video today to show you how to use your calculator to do calculations with the binomial distribution. So first of all, let's do a quick recap of what we looked at last time. Here are the criteria for the conditions under which we're going to have a binomial distribution. So first of all, we've got a fixed number of trials and these trials need to be independent of each other. And the number of trials we're doing is called N. And then each of these trials needs to have two different outcomes that we're considering. One is the one we're calling success, and the other is the one that we're calling failure. And then on each trial, the chance of success needs to be constant without changing. And the chance of success we're calling P, and therefore the chance of failure not getting that is 1 minus P. And then um, our variable capital X is we're counting the number of successes that we're getting after we've had our N trials. So a good example to think of um, is always something like flipping 10 coins and counting how many heads you get. So that would be um, an example of that. And then here's the new notation that we learnt. X follows a binomial distribution with the parameters N and P in that order. And then the formula for each separate probability is given by this. The chance that X equals X is N choose X times P to the X times 1 minus P to the N minus X which we discussed was a particular term of this expansion here. If you expand out p plus 1 minus p all to the n, you're going to get a bunch of these different terms for different values of x. Bear in mind as well that uh, x can take any value from naught to n uh, inclusively. Okay, that's quite important as well. Right, so if you've got your Casio calculator handy then, I can show you how to get to the point where you can do calculations with this without having to write out the formula each time. So if you firstly press menu, which is this button here, you're going to be brought to this page that shows all the different options. And you're going to want to go to number seven, which is called distribution. So that's the first um, thing to go to there. After you've gone to that, it's then going to um, have a list of different options. You're going to want the fourth one down, which is called binomial PD. PD standing for probability distribution. So then you press that. It will then ask you if you want a list or variable for your data, you're going to want a variable. And then it's going to bring you to the final page, which asks you to put in the value of X, N and P in the correct order. Right. So X, obviously, is the value that goes here. Um, the number of successes that you want. N is the number of trials and P is the chance of a success. It will then um, calculate for you any probability using this formula here. So by way of example, um, you're going to want to write this one down, maybe. So the right random variable X is binomial with 12 trials and a sixth chance of success. And that sixth um, is very reminiscent of a dice roll. So rolling 12 dice and counting how many sixes you get, for example, uh, would be a good uh, kind of reference point to think about there. Right, the probability that x equals two, once you've gone through this navigation to get to here, you're gonna to wanna to type in um, x is two, n is 12, um, P is a sixth. And then press equals. And so this chance is, give me a second, two, twelve, one sixth. And then if you press equals, it will tell you P equals, and it will be 0 0.2961 to four decimal places. Okay, use your calculator to verify that for me. X is 9 is similar, you just want to change X to 9. So same parameters, different X. So the chance that X equals 9. If you press equals, it will send you back to that previous page. And then you get this, you get 1.263 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, and that's your probability. Normally, you're going to want four decimal places for each question, but look at what it asks you to do. OK, one of these inequality probabilities is going to be slightly different. Now, there is an option to calculate less than or equal to probabilities um, under, underneath this navigation, but I'm going to leave that to a different lesson. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to split this into only two separate cases, which we're going to add together. So this is going to be the probability that x is zero. Don't forget about the zero case plus the probability that x equals 1. Okay, and then again, separately with your calculator, you can work these things out. 
If I do x is 0, you're going to get 0.1122. That's four decimal places. If you make x be 1, you're going to get 0.2692. And then adding together, you might want to go back to the, the first option on your um, calculator, which is calculate. And then you can type these numbers in. Okay, and that gives you 0 0.3814. Okay, so that's an introduction to using your calculator. There are more options that we're going to see as the lessons go on, but I think that's a good place to start. All right, thanks, you 12. See you soon.